Hello and welcome back to Rule the Waves 2. We are playing Imperial Germany in the 1900 start. It is 1932 and for now six months there is a war with France and Italy. So far the war is kind of going in our favor even though the points don't really reflect it. Um, we will lose Libya. There's nothing we can do to avoid it because we need our fleet in Northern Europe and Italy thus has a free hand and we I, We will probably lose Rhodes and Sardinia as well, but at least the French are being blockaded So we might be able to make peace at some point rather soon um, There has been a naval battle and Italy uh, France has lost think two battleships it was and we have lost two ourselves unfortunately one of them was the Ludwig der Zweite der Deutsche so one of the very strong Friedrich der Dritte class the other one was rather old um, what was it Weissenburg class Mecklenburg class I can't remember so um, one of the ships that weren't too big a loss to lose but um, because of the damage our ships took in that battle and we still see a lot of them being uh, repaired the points were in favor of the Italians so well, we are not about to win yet we will have to do some work for that so let's just dive in um, the, if we see it here now the construction there is a, a big modernization effort um, for the older destroyers they they are being kept destroyers and just um, added anti-submarine equipment and minesweeper minesweeping equipment to make them more usable in um, escort roles but they are being kept as destroyers with torpedo tubes so they can fight intruding in, um, and um, attacking enemy fleets that try to raid our shipping Apart from that, um, the deficit we run is rather high, but we still have 141 million on the bank. And uh, six of our battleships are currently cons being constructed. There will have to be, some of them will have to be stopped um, when the money is about to run out, but we are not there yet. So let's just go into the next turn right away. Okay, so Libya is still holding for now. The destroyers are being finished. One is um, being completed. Now this is... We could have another Scharnhorst class. We'll take it. But just to immediately scrap it again, we'd use this as a small exploit, maybe, to um, gain a... Fly, what is it? Like 200,000, something like that. Um, we can't afford to build four more and those three, the other three that are halted will be scrapped at some point. So right now, despite being unrestricted, having unrestricted warfare, um, submarine warfare, and despite having several of our ships raiding, we are losing the um, merchant warfare ship. Now this is yeah, small engagement. We we actually accept it. No, we can't. Okay, so I don't have enough ships there. Um, with two light cruisers, I might have been able to do something, but I wasn't too optimistic. And as we've seen, unfortunately, there was nothing we could do. Okay, so let's put those into trade protection, as that is the role they were intended to be used in. Um, the first battleships are back in. Um, back in the fleet, ready for the next battle. Uh, and let's just continue. Okay, well then Marianas. Yeah, the Russians are also supporting them and, well, they wanted money for the army for an offensive. I denied it. And as we've seen, after only 200 yards, they stopped. But at least it's only 100 victory points lost. So in that regard, it's not that bad. Okay, so some submarine activities, enemy coastal raid, for those I use 
um, for those those um, modernized destroyers are being used to be able to fend off such an attack. So let's see what we can do. We want the, to have the ships attacked and it's becoming night again so now we don't have aircraft carriers there anyways but our land-based aviation will be useless as well and it's only with two destroyers which is really annoying in such a battle as um, you have to guess where the enemy might be and if you miss him he will just ravage around in your backyard and you have no chance of finding him um, yeah so far nothing is found let's just move back here but I just hope that he doesn't find any f any transport ships because without air reconnaissance and there is no air reconnaissance at night I have no possibility whatsoever to see where he is well and w when I see the game slowing down this means that they are probably engaging somewhere? No. Okay. Well, it might it be that some ships are being attacked by the enemy fleet, but there's not much I can do unless I get sighting reports, which I don't receive yet. So we're just going to cruise around somewhere here and wait and hope that the time runs out. I mean, if I were to find some of them in battle, it would be fine. I think with the the ships are decently designed, so they should have a good chance. And if I remember, the um, the crews are trained for night fighting, so we should have a small advantage there. And it's becoming day night. Well, that's the advantage of having a long battle. So maybe the the air reconnaissance finds something after all. We see here that's one of the zeppelins, I think. And we've got a spotting. Okay, so they are going here. Where are they going? They are already retreating. Okay. East, south, east. Now they are going south. Okay. Well, let's see whether we can find them. And let's see whether the navy, uh, the the Air Force is going to do something about that. Mm. Let's see if that guy well, I would have already passed him, God damn it! So if you click there, you see where, according to the um, reported course and speed, he would be by now. Which means he would run into that minefield n about now, which is obviously not happening. But if the Air Force doesn't find them, I can't do anything. So I guess we're just going to wait it out and hope that they haven't sunk any transport ships because then I think I should be the winner as my transport ships have survived and he has failed to sink any. Okay, time is over. Let's see. Unfortunately, I have a mine hit on one of my... and it's going... it went down, okay. It's still a marginal um, victory because they failed to sink ships and I have four merchantmen surviving. So this is rather unsatisfying battle, obviously, but it's still some uh, victory and some points gained on him, even though uh, it's almost equal. I wonder if I should accept peace, if I can get it. Because the thing is, right now, I, I'm about to lose Libya, I'm not sure whether that's worth it. Hmm. And if we see here, they are... Who is sinking them? I mean, the submarines, they lose a lot. The submarines do nine, and they did 19 in radars. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I can't do anything here, I think. Yep. 
Okay, um, what are they doing? I think you two guys are now going into the Mediterranean. Um, risking them to be cut off in turn and sunk there. But I need to do something. And this is like turning into a defeat. And now they've taken Libya. So it's only a question of time until they will conquer the next um, province. Okay, so... Yeah. Just some submarine activity. We lose 5, they lose 5. 13 against 6. It's all in the Mediterranean, most of it. Okay. Fleet battle, okay, so that might be a diff might make a difference. Attack enemy ships, but I don't think they are in range. No, no, nowhere. No way are they in range. Okay, now it's becoming interesting. Um, carrier division nine, you follow carrier division six. Gurgen is still around. Uh, yeah, whatever, you stay there. And. Um, you follow those. How many do I have? Battle division, battle division. There's another one. Ah, battle cruiser, okay. And another battle cruiser. Okay, can you guys follow those ones up there? Which is that? 23. No, you are 23, okay. Can you follow 25? I should be able to do that because I think 30 knots 30 knots 9 16 inch I think they are same class or something or at least um, a class very similar to each other Auto de Grosse class 9 16 what are those Heinrich der Zweite class okay but still very closely in performance very close in performance uh, so they can operate together at the same speed and so on okay now let's see okay. by the way cloudy visibility is 25,000 how much more time of daylight twilight ah it's becoming daylight even better so I will be able to use my my aircrafts now aircraft now that's good Airstrike, then let's do the first airstrike right away. Some of them are here. They are moving this way. So if those, those are battle cruisers. So the battle fleet should be somewhere behind here. Let's say send them somewhere here. Okay, we do a fully strike focus. We don't care about escorts. If we, yeah, we can send some escort, but we focus on, on naval strike um, no I can't okay launch I could have them operate together but I want to push out the push them out against the enemy fleet as fast as I possibly can so they are ordered to do what is ineffective but I hope at this phase the um, the anti-aircraft isn't that strong yet that they have to operate together and I don't think there'll be much a combat air patrol to defend them against them. So I should be able to use them to their fullest and we need to keep them at some distance so let's move them maybe here. Okay, And you guys speed up because I want you to shoot those guys too. Okay, so we've got two battle cruisers here, four more here. Let's check them. I can't remember their design. Marseille, 13 inch, mediocre armor. Duquesne, 8, 11 inch, bad armor. Chaz, Chanzy, Chanzy, I guess, Chanzy. Very good deck armor. 
good belt decent decent armament so the Chanzy is I guess dangerous and the Dunkerque is 816 h6 okay so a little less armor but um, stronger guns so the first two are like the weakest everything else is dangerous okay let's move them here those are the battleships that are already closing in we we try to cross the T by moving over here and the first one is gone battle cruiser Marseille class turret B hit um, turret flash fire ship blows up so that was fast now Duquesne is left the one with the 11 inch wait where is he gone huh? oh he was just okay so so for some reason he went unspotted okay um question is what are my airstrikes doing okay so they're forming up i guess oh those were recon planes i don't know for sure need to be careful about destroyers here i think they are probably in torpedo range yeah that should be torpedo range yeah okay so you guys speed up what i completely missed that this guy is charging me okay well you could actually finish him off just to make sure focus him and what about you guys you are so there's one with 21 and he's slowing down everyone god damn it i hate that that's why I try to keep my, my designs uniform, that this doesn't happen. And for whatever reason, the game chose to make the same ship, the ships of the same class, not into the same division. <laughs> well, if I could tell the developers once, one thing, please fix stuff like this. Or at least, or even better, allow me to design the classes, my, uh, to, to design the fleet composition myself to say that this is supposed to be a division that operates together. That would be awesome. And the next one, Marseille blows up. Who is the Marseille? Wait, another Marseille? Okay, so I guess the second one blew up. I need to check on their, on their um, turret armor some time later, because that was kind of weird. And are you guys shooting my b battle cruisers for me? What is the closest one? This one here? No, this one. Okay. Take that one out. And that one is stationary, the destroyer, so he's taken out. And the Duquesne is very slow. So that should be, he shouldn't be for much longer as well. Chasny was pretty decent, right? Yeah, 914 inch, good, good deck armor. Let's see what we can do about that. Maybe my bomber strikes come in. Where are my air attacks? Let's see. Let's send new ones out. Uh, up here, maybe. Launch strike. Launch strike. Careful, he's doing a torpedo attack, so let's do one of our own. And I'm afraid I will have to turn away pretty soon. Can you guys finish off that Shazni? Where is it? There it is. That would be pretty nice. You guys move up here. They are turning, so they should launch their torpedoes by now. So we're just turning in. 
and the torpedoes should go like this way and miss me by a mile. I hope. To Kerne, Shazni. And what is up here? Okay, so here is his battle fleet as well. Liberté class. 13 inch weak armor, especially for a battleship. Charlemagne. Weak armor. Bad armament. Iena. Good armament or decent. Okay armor. Brennus. That is good armament. Ah. Uh, our armor is not too impressive though. Mm. Good good armor though. So none of them is too impressive. But they have a, a really a big number of ships uh, of different classes. Oh well. Maybe my carrier planes are can finally do something about that. That would be nice. Where are they? even see them usually you I you would see it, little red dots where the planes are oh no okay what is this game breaking down no not yet okay I need those to change course again because that looks like torpedo attacks and I guess you turn a little bit as well do they shoot the Shazni? Yeah. Okay, so they are going here with the wind. Let's cross the T. Speed up. Question is, when is he... Th when is the... Look at this damage. God damn it. Turret's taken out. Turret's taken out. So, for whatever reason, their turrets seem to be really prone to damage. That is a little too close for my comfort. Maybe I should turn away. Okay, what are you guys doing? This one has stopped. Okay, so you could now join in and shoot some battleships. How about this one? Well, how about those? Medium damage? heavy damage okay yeah we are actually going to hunt those battle cruisers um, where is it not this one not this one this one here full speed run up okay barely any damage Okay, Shazni, yeah, that's just them wasting their torpedoes on a wreck. Because I'm too lazy to order every single unit to hold their fire. But I'd be happy if my Air Force... Oh, this is... Now, now, we're, co now we're talking. These are planes. So maybe some they can do something. I want to see the thing popping up that I'm hitting enemy ships with torpedoes. Shazni class, yeah, yeah, not those. <laughs> the air drop torpedoes would be nice. Okay, they are turning away, so we're turning up. We need the battleships to follow them. And the uh, Dunkirk had been hit rather a lot too there. Okay, not now. Weissenburg is being hit, Braunschweig is being hit, so those are some of my old battleships. Um, what about Weissenburg? Okay, 2% damage. Yeah, that's not too impressive. It needs to be at some level so I can detach it, because I want to detach it. Uh, so the rest of the division can go to full speed of 28 knots. It's currently, it's like, I'm castrating the, the possibilities of my my own ships okay so now let's let me see some hits by airdrop torpedoes the planes are going in for attacks yeah so far nothing 
mean, the, the planes, the pilots aren't experts. Okay, now we've got two hits. Or is it... No, it's just that one that is probably being struck by... by, by more um, torpedoes that are just shot by the um, destroyers. Let me see what's going on here. Why is he, he running in circles? Why is he... the damage is just that one turret, right? Maybe he's going to close in soon, I have no idea. And I should check on the damage anyways. All good here. Mm, yeah, this is only the turrets. Okay, one is blown up. I really need to check on those. They take too much damage too fast. But, I mean, the damage is going up. They have float flooding damage. Seven heavy hits already. So, it's not that that um, easy as we had hoped, might have hoped, even though they have already lost two of their battle cruisers by in, by explosion. So right now we would have an, a very resounding win, but I think I'm gonna be a little more greedy. Not as greedy as last time, which cost me a battleship, but like right now there's just no point in running away. This is, for instance, Liberté class. This one is being hit. That's very nice. That's one of the ones above here. So they'll slow down. He's been hit twice. And Oshalmania has been hit here. Um, I hope for them to slow down because of that. So my destroyers have it more easy to hit them. And that um, I can catch up and shoot them to pieces with the big, big guns. And that one, as we see, he's already slowing down. And Shalmania is being hit again. Perfect. Okay. Oh. Shalmania, Ocean. As well. Very nice. Let's see. What are they? Do they have more to start? I'm ready. I honestly don't really know what re ready the strike means, but this is like, I think those are, yeah, it's the number of, sh of planes that are ready, if I click at them, I have no idea. Let's just ready them for now. Maybe that helps something. But those are probably just the ships that are coming back to the to the um, aircraft carriers already. Okay, so the Liberté has been hit again, and the Ocean class. Liberté has been hit how often? Four times now. Um, okay, how about destroyers? Am I in risk of being hit by torpedoes? Mm. I think I should at least change course just to make sure. And I think you guys just go right ahead at them. Because you're f so slow. Liberté has been cl hit three, four times. O Ocean once. Perfect. So I guess Liberté is, is, is gone. Yep. Perfect. Richelieu. I should have them fire at the Richelieu. Yep. They shoot at the Dunkirk. And that might be a torpedo attack. So I guess I'm turning away for now. Liberté, Kai Kaiman, another one being hit. What design is this? Six, 12, 16 inch. That is a lot. Decent armor too. That is a pretty decent design. 24 knots isn't the fastest, but it's not bad either. I think that is a good ship. Okay, that one is a little concerning. And more hits, Liberté. Yeah, I have no idea how often the Liberté has been hit by now. It's always amazing how long they take to, to sink, even though they've been hit over and over again. Ocean, another hit. So now we see air power in its full glory. Liberté class been hit. Okay, let's turn out here. Those are a lot of um, destroyers. 
And the Kaiman could be, uh, we could take care of it maybe. Thank you for the follow, uh, one I would like. Uh, yep. So Liberté is down. We will concentrate on the Kaiman here. Yeah, I should order them to shoot at it just to make sure. Where is it? Yeah, here it is. Okay, you concentrate on that one. And the Dunkerque is stationary, so I expect it to be sinking as well. Let's take the other Dunkerque then, this one. So yeah, so far it's going fine. Now I need to make sure that I'm not losing everything I just gained by being too greedy. And can someone please tell me what the auto is doing down there? 30% damage, barely any flooding, barely any damage. Yeah, it's, um, well, I, it has its charm. The thing is, um, you have to design your whole, your whole fleet um, to the, the every design. If we look at the sh ships here, you see the turret, where the turrets are situated, which caliber, the armor of everything, how to modernize them, what kind of engine and all of this. All the, the holy trilogy of armor, uh, mobility and firepower has to be calculated in accordance to techno technological development, obviously. So a ship with 45,000 tons in 1920 is by necessity far worse than one of the same weight 20 years later. So you need to keep up um, with the production. And when, it's, when war comes, this part comes where you actually organize the, um, the, the battles themselves. Uh, the f you can see the explosions, like for instance here. You see this red circle? And look at the smoke here. Isn't that amazing? And you can even see that this turret is destroyed and this one is disabled. I think, and they actually even turn, you see? They are aimed at something. So to me, this is really fascinating. <laughs> I know the details, the amount of details is great. To me, this this game is like, like it's almost made for me. Um, I I told it occasionally that I wrote my thesis about the naval rearmament of the um, Japanese navy between the two wars. So what what I can do here in the game is basically what my thesis was about. And in this regard, it obviously is very interesting to me. And I'm not sure. I think the, the naval strike would be just one plane, which is really seems rather useless. Now, this one at least would be four planes. Ah, whatever. Let's start it. Uh, go in here somewhere, launch them. And I can order the carriers to go closer here. What is this? Wait, this is a destroyer. Oops. Ah, it's a broken down destroyer okay <laughs> at least I thought that one destroyer has been able to sneak up okay so they are going broadside that one might might be shooting torpedoes so I think I'm gonna move up change course again and we need to be careful with those so let's circle around again Charlemagne is basically stopping Liberté is taken out you take on survivors du this Dunkerque is taken out God damn it, this is a disaster for the French this is Trafalgar all over again So far, I don't think I have even lost a single ship. And they have lost, I don't know how many capital ships, five? What, what, what about the naval strikes? Oh, 11 now. Ooh. Okay. 
and I can even launch it so you guys somewhere here launch Yeah, let's strike. And I can launch. 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 Charmania blows up. Wait, was that one? Where is it? Okay, it's one of those that was already stopping. Too bad. Would have been nice if it had been one of those ships up here. Okay, we are changing course again just to make sure we don't we are not torpedoed. Um high nice to first if we are running lower on ammo. Those were torpedo launches, where are they shooting at? Can't even see. Well let's wait for the second wave of airstrikes. That should be even more devastating. The French don't seem to have any planes nearby, even though the coast is rather close. I haven't been even... I don't see any combat air patrol. I haven't been attacked by anything. Okay, and the Cayman has stopped as well. So we are switching to the ocean. Ocean, I think. Um, Dunkerque, yeah, it's still running, so we keep firing at it. And the next airstrike's coming. Let's see, how is the damage? The worst ship still is going strong. So I can't detach it. That one is down to 18 knots though. How? Should I detach it? Hmm. I mean, they are all still well within range, so I don't think I need to be too concerned right now. Okay, where was that claimer? Down here? Okay. I hope, I hope the airplanes didn't... Do they actually go... No. Claymore, Claymore? Do they actually strike ships that are already stopped? I guess they do. Awesome. <laughs> Well, I guess they want to be able to report that they hit something. Yeah, so they are just wasting their airstrikes on ships that are already stopped and sinking. Great. Okay, the Kaiman is being hit, pummeled like crazy. Thanks for the follow, Dunsbar. We are still hitting them. Another Dunkirk, but I'm pretty sure that's the crippled one. Yes, it is. I just hope the airstrike, the other airstrikes, go actually there. Claymore, Claymore, that all looks like we're just hit, still hitting the same. Okay, do I need to change course? I probably do. Let's close in a little more problem here is that I can't even use all of my guns, but they are rather slow. Wait, I... Yeah, those are the, the really slow ones, so taking manual control of them doesn't change anything. Um, enemy aircraft. Now, now we are being attacked by enemy airplanes. Kaiman, Dunkirk. No, that's this one. That's good. We want to hit the one that is still moving. Now let's turn up again so we can use more turrets. Okay, D. Ah, I guess that one is being attacked by, an air by airplanes. Yep. Okay, now we've got nine enemy torpedo planes attacking this one destroyer. Okay, you guys speed up. I want you to get closer to the main fleet. One. Didn't care to be in hit. Ah, but that one. Too bad. What is the Otto the Second still doing there? What are you guys doing here? Square max. He's down to 60 knots. Oh, he is. Okay. Well, whatever. 
Why is he down to 60 knots? I should probably check it so he doesn't sink suddenly. I have no idea. I guess the engine was hit at some point. Then it's flooding. Engine room hit. Okay. So while we have taken damage so far, it's completely one-sided. But really, like, Dunkirk, now this one is being shot to shreds. It's still moving. But another 16-inch hits, 4-inch secondary hits. Yeah. And that one is... Is it hit? No. I have, they have missed it with torpedoes. Okay. Um, but I guess I need to change course with those again. So I'm not being hit by torpedoes. Yeah, those two are doomed as well. Now he stopped. Okay. Immediately switch target. Kaiman, that sounds like my airstrikes are still going somewhere they are not supposed to go. I uh, know, I'm not gonna even gonna shoot at this anymore because I think it's taken out anyways already. So let's focus that Richelieu. Uh, what are you guys shooting at? Okay, is he still moving? Yeah, he is. Okay. And then keep shooting him. Okay, another torpedo hit on the Kaiman. Yeah, I guess those were probably from the destroyers here. But the one airstrike on my own, my one destroyer was everything I've seen from enemy planes so far. Okay, I need and the Dunkirk has blown up. Which one? This down here. Okay, so I guess Otto has killed him. Okay, I need to be actually be careful. This one might still be able to shoot torpedoes and they have submerged torpedoes. I don't think this is a big issue because they have torpedo protection too. But it's still, I mean, we are, we are too far away from own ports. So at any point, um, we might, the ships might be sunk if I can't get, if the flooding is getting too strong. And Heinrich der Sektor Zweite is detaching. Damage is increasing. Should I retreat? Nah, not yet. I think he can go a little longer. Um, which was it? Battle Cruiser Division 25. So he is following that one. And this is a nice thing too. Accumulated smoke in battle area. Sighting range reduced by 20%. The, these are the small details that are really nice in this game. Things like that. There have been so many big guns shooting at each other that we've created an artificial smoke screen, an artificial uh, fog over the whole battlefield. Okay, Dunkirk is still being hit, but it's only secondary. That's how it is supposed to be. Yeah, we see here, it's only, f so I ordered them to shoot something else, but the secondaries are out of range though, so they keep shooting at those um, battle cruisers here the, the, at those wrecks which is fine okay so I've lost my first ship now what a shame okay cap where are my airstrikes this looks like planes where are they going yes please don't attack this one go up here but I, I am afraid they might be attacking the one because I haven't anticipated the, the direction they are going in time. Ah, whatever. Ah, not here. You guys go up here. Just try again. Launch. I want more ships sunk from their side. And I don't care about carrier plane losses. So Heinrich is not going full speed, I think. 24 knots top speed. So 
But I mean, at this phase, it's rather normal that they slow down, especially as soon as they've taken flooding. But yeah, 24 is slow. Flooding is 500. Oh, okay. So he's going to slow down really and turn away. 500, as my understanding is, the number here means this is this is active flooding, so not contained. There's still water pouring in. And 500 is a lot, like really much. Which means that if I'm not careful, it might go down. Um, going below 10 knots helps uh, mitigate the risk of basically pushing water into the ship. Um, okay, so ocean class, ocean class been hit. Yeah, but this is guns, not, not torpedoes. Yeah. Okay. Kaiman, Kaiman, yeah. But I guess, yeah. They are attacking a wreck. Well, too bad. But I think we have a chance of taking the ocean out as well. And those guys here might be able to do something here. How are you holding up? Yeah, flooding is going down. Good. Okay. Yeah, but I think they are all going on the on the wrecks. Ocean, huh? It's a lot of hits, but another wreck. Okay, you guys turn in. That looks like torpedoes, um, like destroyers. And that's torpedoes. Ocean is still fleeing. Yeah, I'm afraid I'm wasting all the torpedoes on wrecks. Too bad. <laughs> Look at this torpedo hit. How often has he been hit? 20 times now? Well, in that case, it would now be 25 times. <coughs> Excuse me. And five more. And four more. And, <laughs> god damn it. The ship is, is, what the fuck? Eight more torpedo hits. Okay. Yeah. Um, it basically consists. C the ship is made of out of um, holes now. There's more more holes than ship hull now. By now, I have no idea why. This is a mistake that the game should at some point make it sink. I have no idea why it doesn't sink. I mean, it's in the process of sinking. There can be no doubt about it. But why the game considers now it's sunk, apparently. Why it took, took it so long? Because I guess there was still some piece of it above the water. And they, so they just kept dropping it. Might have been capsized already or whatever. I have no idea. This is an annoying part of the mechanics, which I... I mean, you can manually order like your, and I think I should focus on the ocean just to make sure it's definitely going down. Um, you can order your destroyers to stop firing. You can you can order every of those groups here to hold hold their fire, hold their fire for ten minutes and so on. To not shoot torpedoes, but unless you do this with everything. They love to just expend their mu their ammunition and their torpedoes on ships that can't um, get that are already going down. Now we're getting very close to the harbor, which means that the risk of minefields is going up a lot because they are mostly close to the harbors. And here we see destroyers, so we need to change course. Those have good torpedo angles. Auto being hit, Wilhelm being hit. Okay, by the way, how are you guys? You're good? How are you? You're also good. How is everyone down here? Mm. 
not too good actually. Well, it's about time the battle ends, I guess. It's really annoying though that I wasn't able to, that the airstrikes, if those airstrikes had hit here, I might have taken out two more battleships, maybe even three. And if I had slowed them down enough that the big, my own big guns can catch up at, at, a, at a short distance and they are slow, which means more hits, I would have done even more damage. But right now all I've lost I think is one destroyer so this is already a, a, an insane victory let's see what kind of design was that 14 15 inch not a bad design yeah so the French battleship design I think was pretty decent if we look at it most of the time they were rather um, strong ships and this ship is from 1917 I mean, it's slow, true, but um, firepower and armor, pretty good. Okay, now you can take something else. Uh, yeah, that Richelieu is the closest one. You are moving up here and are targeting the Richelieu as well. Maybe I'm able to take it out. That doesn't look too nice. I don't think I'm able to take one more. They are now entering the harbor. But I said, now it's basically, I need to make sure that those guys aren't being torpedoed. Let's do one more and then do a sharp turn in the opposite direction to reduce the risk. And this is really annoying. This, this slow battleship has meant that they hadn't been able to close in further. I don't know. I think they've sh still shot most of the time, so it wasn't a, it wasn't a complete disaster but it would have been more effective otherwise okay so heinrich is being hit ocean is mostly being hit braunschweig is using its ah, okay it's a separate group okay yeah whatever he can't shoot anything else i guess so he can pummel the ocean okay i wonder whom they attack now where are my planes? I don't see any planes here. Yeah, they're going now on this one. This is a naval strike on the ocean. Look at the graphics. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> yep, they are going in on him. Oh well. I guess that's also a fault of my targeting, to a certain degree, definitely. I should have aimed further before, or maybe used the target ships. But the thing is, I don't really see where it is. Here, when this window is open, I can't move this, and I can't... No, well, I can actually do something here. Okay, I should have used that, and now we see a red line, I think. No, we don't. So I don't really see where it even is. But I guess that might be uh, an advantage. Wilhelm is burning. Wait the second. Let's see. Yeah, that looks like fire. Okay, how? Oh, god damn it. That's not looking good. Only one fire at least, so he has a chance of extinguishing it. But he needs to get away. I have no idea why, but somehow. Our Wilhelm II is rather rash and rather reckless in battle. I can't understand why that is. It seems like he's going in head over heels without considering the consequences all the time. That's weird, isn't it? Okay, so Ocean is being hit. Those guys are running away and I think they are disappearing every moment which means means that they are being considered to go into the harbor okay this one might actually attack him no he's coming out there i have no idea oh well regardless that's a big victory now they are here okay well maybe i'm lucky and they do some more damage but i i i highly doubt that i'm able to sink another one of those Yeah, I think they are disappearing. Yep, this means they are now a, a, have entered port. 
Okay, now let's go down to 21 knots, uh, to 10 knots, everyone, just to make sure that floodings that are already in existence don't increase. And move away. Not looking good here, buddy. And you guys can go to cruise speed. Unsighted hit, okay. Where? Okay, up here or something. Let's see. That shouldn't be much more than a destroyer, I think. Uh, still on fire, but the damage isn't this night this horrible. He might be he might get away, I hope. that up here this can't be a big ship yeah it's it's if you see the short the small um, turning circle this is just a destroyer so or maybe even a, a corvette or something nothing that should um, worry me too much or that i should actually send my big ships up i'm now trying to make sure i'm not losing any one of my big ones as much as i can by now oh the second ship is down too bad and the fire is extinguished perfect um, everyone here going 10 knots I hope yeah you guys are still racing whatever I don't care really much this one is slowing down as well good quite some damage too though okay still see but I think the battle is mainly over now it's important that I'm not doing anything stupid to lose a ship unnecessarily by I don't know by going full speed and of course a little luck now has to happen in, in me not running over a minefield somewhere here because there will be minefields here but not too many yet after only six or seven months of war the longer the war lasts the more minefields you're facing and that can really be annoying but um, I think this is a resounding victory like I've only had a few so far in this game at least for now let's not let's not jinx it so Yeah, unfortunately, thanks to the airstrikes, I can't... No, I can't speed up. Okay. You guys could also turn away, just to make sure we are all on the same page here. Curve sights an unknown ship. Yeah, something up here. I don't know. What is the Gurgen doing up here? Um, buddy, you're not supposed to go on your own. Uh, go down here. Okay, better. Yeah, he's turning to um, land planes or start them or whatever. But I think I should be fine now. Now I need to make sure to get away. So I can go to ultra fast and stay at it without sighting so the battle can finally end. Can you guys please like run away? Okay. Third ship down. Damn it. I think it's the third one at least. Mm-hmm carrier division being attacked uh, one aircraft destroyed bomb hit oh he's being hit okay oh doesn't look like a lot of damage though and it's dive bombers battle cruises okay now suddenly his airstrikes come in okay well let's hope our combat air patrol is effective because that might 
Wait, it's being hit, it's being hit. Well, Braunschweig is one of the old ones, but still. Ah, uh, well, I guess I jinxed it. No, it's one of the decent ones. 21 knots, though. Okay. Um, well, he can survive this. The problem is, though, now that I'm just going 10 knots, which obviously makes it rather easy for them to hit them. That is uncomfortable. Another torpedo hit. And he is already very damaged. God damn it. <laughs> uh, I'm afraid his carriers might. And the Wilhelm I is also being hit. God damn it. Where is the fucking Comet Air Patrol? Two torpedo hits on the Wilhelm I. Yeah, I need to do. I, I need to check on the fighters. Well, he doesn't have uh, um, active flooding. The problem is I'm going rather slow. So maximum cap. Problem is I'm going rather slow, which makes it much more easy to hit them. And he's being hit. And he's being hit. And he's struck a mine. God damn it. Can we please lim uh, end this battle before my ships go down? Yeah, yeah, I don't care about destroyers. But this is not comfortable. Where? I guess he must have ha must have carriers somewhere that are now in range. That's the only reason I can see why I suddenly get attacked after hours of battle. He must have had carriers somewhere. Does he even have carriers? Uh, oh, come on. No, I thought the game had broken down. Okay, something is wrong. No, now it works. Yeah, I can't hit. Okay, I need to check something. To that, I turn off the screen for a moment because there is some mistake. And um, what is going on here? Okay, now it works again. Um, there was some screen had opened, and I don't know a kiss. Yeah, I pushed that one, and somehow put it. In, uh, so I opened the log entries and somehow put it in the background. So after that, every click I tried to do was stopped by the window being opened. So let's see whether it works now. Yes, it does. Okay, do they have carriers? They have three light carriers. So that might be the reason that their light carriers are somewhere close. That's the only explanation I have why it took them so long to come. But so far none of them is going down yet. But that is really uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Braunschweig is being attacked. Fire started on the Wilhelm II. Oh, God damn it. Where is my combat air patrol? The thing is, though, I'm spread out too. That's another issue. Can the time please run out before I, th I lose all my f ships? Where are you guys going? Go back. Stay close, provide combat air patrol. Okay. More air attacks. I only have to survive another 90 minutes, I think. Dot torpedo, okay. So that's not an issue. Brandenburg is a real, is, seems to be their favorite target, isn't it? No has not been hit yet okay so whatever what was the other ship Friedrich der Dritte hit dud also dud I have no idea why I'm so lucky then now suddenly okay what is this he is running away 
Yeah, I don't intend to send that crippled one closer. Well, so far none of the mine has sunk yet. And it's only an hour left. And I hope the battle will end when it reaches 800. No hit, no hit. Perfect. Okay. Well, I'm the first. Avoiding, avoiding, avoiding. Hit. Damn it. Avoiding, avoiding. Okay, so he's being hit. Where is he? Well, I'm the first. Here. Yeah. Ooh. He's going 10 knots, so I can't do much more except going slower. And I was told a couple of times that that, that doesn't make a difference. And while being under air attack, I don't actually want to risk it. So let's just pray that they'll survive for long enough. Limits flooding. Yeah, I can't do much except maybe stopping and making them e an even better target. And the time is over. Rostock is torpedoed. Okay, a light cruiser. So I lost a light cruiser and two destroyers only. Didn't they say one was sinking? And look at this. Five battleships sunk, six battle cruisers sunk. So basically the French fleet is almost st almost stopped existing. Insane. Ship score over a million. I don't think I've seen that before. I, I'm not sure. But this is definitely one of the most impressive victories I've ever seen. I've taken a lot of heavy damage. But this is just insane wow okay so 70,000 victory points suddenly and that means that I might be able to send ships now to the Mediterranean I have well how much they have left they currently only have 51 points left I mean, they have ships damaged, and let's see what, what couple of ships. Four battleships and three battle cruisers left. That's all. Um, 12, 16 inch, 10, 15 inch. So those two at least are still decent. Battle cruisers, this one is being built, and those are good too. So they have some decent ships left, but not many. Insane victory. Okay. After this resounding victory, I think it is about time to call it an end because we'll need to make sure to think about what we're going to do next. Um, the fleet, let's um, see it again. So a lot of heavy damage, but in two months everything should be back in working order. The losses, I haven't lost a single capital ship in this engagement and only two battleships before. Even the Wilhelm II has once more survived. This guy is really resilient and he's always going in reckless. Quite reckless. So I have no idea why, but that's how he likes to do it apparently. Um, suddenly, because they are all in repair, I guess, I even have a uh, positive balance, but that shouldn't be for long. Um, we are already down to less than 90 million. Ships are still m over a year out. Okay, so I will have to stop a couple of the battleships uh, soon. Oh yeah, that one we wanted to scrap that one. I actually forgot to scrap it, I think. So I, I started, I had him, I didn't stop, uh, I accepted the offer because those ships I think should be 33 months. Yeah, so he starts with 30 months, and if you scrap him right away, you get like, I don't know, 200 or something. And instead of stopping and basically exploiting the mechanic, I kept him building and paid twice 5.2 million for it. So yeah, <laughs> trying to exploit the mechanics and then forgetting it costs you, but I guess deservedly, because I shouldn't um, play a game like this and trying to exploit the mechanics. So never mind. Anyways, a very resounding victory in this regard here. Um, I think we can be positive even though we've lost Libya. Um, I have no idea what I'll be able to do, but I'll try to send in, in maybe two months time or so to send big parts of my fleet to the Mediterranean and then I'll try to actually um, force engagements with the Italian Navy. The thing is though that the um, basing might be a problem, but we'll have to see about that. 
I'll try to force engagement with the Italian Navy, recapture Libya, capture Sicily, which I really want, and then I'll see what, what whether I get Corsica, Algeria, and Tunis, Tunisia maybe too. Anyways, this is um, uh, this is for the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did so, please consider following and subscribing. Um, these videos are being streamed, uh, are recordings from stream. That's why the comments, um, they are in reaction to the chat. If you are interested in commenting and maybe having a small, tiny destroyer being named after you, like those here, then please consider just show um, following on um, Twitch as well and you'll get notifications. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, thank you for watching and uh, see you next time.